All right, we're gonna adjust gas pressure. First thing you do, checking manifold pressure, is there's a little plug right there I've already taken out, put in my hose. Okay, this little black hose, right? So that's checking. After the inlet, there is a port. Up. Where the heck is it? Right here. There's a port right there for for inlet gas pressure. And then there's another port up there to check just that two-stage gas valve. For a three-stage gas valve, this is what makes the third stage. You want to check after the third stage gas valve, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to look in the instructions and figure out how. The instruction manual. You can also find this on Carrier Enterprise. This particular one up in a folder holder up there. Okay, so Carrier Enterprise. All right, um, first of all, no index. So we got to go to the startup procedures, which is at the back. All right, <clears throat> I found startup procedures. Look at this. I just want to show you. In startup procedures, it has a sequence of operation. Then it has some pretty in-depth instructions of the sequence of operation. So if you need some help with what it's supposed to be doing, there you go. All right, gas input rate. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do this. I'm going to pause it and do it and then kind of show you what I'm doing per the instructions. All right, so the instructions say to remove this box, okay? It also says to remove these caps before you start. Um, then you're supposed to start on medium pressure. So there's some dip switches back there with red. It wants you to turn 4-3 on. So that's dip switch set 4, 4-2, four and the middle one is 2 out of 3. There's three switches, and you want to turn number two on. Okay, so that locks it into medium. Also, don't use communicating. Okay, so you open this, you open this, because when the inducer comes on, it uh, this is sealed, so it pulls it pulls a vacuum on the gas manifold up, you know, up to where you're measuring. And so you'll end up seeing, like I, I tried this just a little bit ago, I saw a negative 0.6 pressure. So it was pulling, you know, 0.6 inches of water column vacuum just there. So you open this up so that it doesn't pull a vacuum. If you make the adjustment with the vacuum on it, then you're actually making the adjustment 0.6 off, right? So um, start medium, dip switch, I'm going to jump low stage heat, so W slash W1. I'm gonna point something out real quick. When I turned this on when I first got here, it was making a lot of gurgling noise, okay? So the gurgling noise, the inducer motor was gurgling, it was tripping on fault 42, which is inducer fault. What it ended up being, the rubber coupler, the pipe inside was not put in correctly. So this pipe right here was sloped downhill that direction. And it had a big old puddle of water in there, and it couldn't put it couldn't couldn't push the exhaust. Okay, so inducer's coming on, uh, hot surface igniter. I mean, coming on, gas pressure. It should fire into medium to start. And we're looking at P2. Oh, of course, got to turn the gas valve on. Ah, I was too late. Okay, pause. We're gonna wait for this. Okay. Hot surface igniter is coming back on. All right. So it's at 1.6. Okay. Now, main plate says right here. It says it should be between 1.3 and 1.7. Right. So. I'm gonna adjust it down closer to the 1.3 range, just so that you ha you don't have it too hot. Okay, so medium right here. We'll just watch this. Watch what I'm doing, I guess. I'm just twisting it just a little bit, 
and it's moving just a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back up to about 1.4. Okay, 1.4. Now, now it says that I need to uh, turn the instructions say, turn that dip switch back off, and then jump W2. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, I'm uh, gonna do that right now. And can I do it? I did. But apparently, apparently I bumped my jumper or something like that because it shut off. So pause. All right, I'm a I'm a terrible cameraman. So look at that, it's still going. Okay, so what it did was it switched from medium down to low. You'll see the low is uh, quite a bit higher than it should be. 0.5 to 0.65. So, um, I need to address that, and I believe that that was done by uh, by some other, you know, somebody else. Okay. So um, instructions say check medium, then second stage, then low. Uh, checking low last, and also specifically says do not check second stage. Uh, do not check low before you check anything else. So, um, you know, it, anyways, hang on. Okay, so I jumped second stage down there. And you can see the gas pressure rise. So, it should be 3.2 to 3.8. So we'll adjust that just a little bit. point something else out. Um, this, so the manometer is kind of change over time. So I'm going to pull this off, show you what I'm doing here. Pull it off, plug that. Okay, so now my hose is open and I'm going to look at this. So 0 .00, uh, 0 0.02, so it's actually still pretty accurate. Sometimes it changes you need to zero it, especially if you're running pressure on it for too long. Okay, so put this back on. And yes, I was just putting gas in the house, so not not that safe, but uh, but sometimes just gotta do it real quick. Okay, so instructions say to take 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 there. Ooh, did you even see any of that with my cameraman skills? Okay, so the instructions said to take to take it all completely off, wait for everything to shut down, and then put it onto low and adjust low if you need to. All right, hot surface igniter's on. Now, did I mention when you fire it up, it always starts in low, starts in medium, unless it's going in straight into high. So I have it jumped on low, W. It's gonna start on medium. Oops, my bad. Okay, so we already adjusted 1.41. So now it's gonna wait for the 90 seconds until the blower kicks on. Once the blower kicks on, then it'll drop down to low. Okay, you wanna wait 90 seconds? Nah. All right, blower just kicked on. And my gas valve kicked down. So, where to put my screwdriver? All right, gas pressure, low gas pressure up in here, and that screw, what am I doing here? There we go, okay. I'm gonna start 
start turning it in. And it's probably going to need a bunch, so I'm just going to go a bunch. Get it started. There we go, we're dropping. And I'm going to try and get it close to 5 point, point, point 5.50. There we go. Okay, 0.55. All right, guys. Now, uh, maybe, maybe we should leave it running just like it is. I'll put the burner box on, and you can see what it looks like. All right. So I just put it in place and screw it, which also means that it's pulling vacuum from or pulling through through here so it's not going to be off as it could be but you can see that it drops some so if I open it goes up close and goes down all right that's all I got um, when we're done you will put your screws back in put your caps on oh by the way putting your caps on changes your gas pressure too so leave your caps off while you adjust. Okay, get it all precise, then put your caps on. And, uh, and then I'll take my jumpers off, put the green plug back on.